than I am. Oh, you think that's the answer to everything. I want to know why you went with him. I don't know. Why? Maybe it was raining, or there was nothing on the telly, or Barbara was sick on the floor, or you weren't here, or what's the bloody difference? It makes a difference to me. What worries you is that you have to find yourself another drinking chum. And he never was your chum. You amuse him. Had long discussions about me in bed, I suppose. Well, I want to know why you went with him. Because, that's why, because, because. Oh, you're a bloody child. If you mean I don't have an ulterior motive for everything I do like you have, well, then I am a child and glad of it. Whose notion is that? Yours or his? I'm going to scream. If you don't stop, I'm going to scream. How was your trip? Did you get the order? Yes. As a matter of fact, Tiffield offered me a big job. You must be very pleased with yourself. Delighted. Beside myself with joy. Fancy. Oh, very fancy. Is that one of Mark's specialities? Oh, please, Georgie. Oh, please, Georgie. Did you get the order, Joe? See you in next week's News of the World. If you want a divorce. Mummy would go round the bend. All those years of charity work, waiting to be noticed in the honours list. A scandal, a right juicy one would ruin it, wouldn't it? No title for Abe. Two hundred thousand pounds gone down the drain. Council, sir. It's the health inspector. We've been waiting ten years for a council flat. We've been on the list fourteen years, sir. But I... I'm not from the council. Hey! It's the bloody rat bites. They come for the canal. Smell the milk on the babies. If elected, I ask that each one of you watch me like a hawk. Question me. Criticise me. But best of all, join me in working for the public good. <coughs> Thank you. And now, Mr. Lampton has very kindly agreed to answer your questions. Could Mr. Lampton explain why committee meetings of our Tory-controlled council have been closed to the public and the press on no less than three occasions in the last 12 months. And on each occasion, a specific problem was discussed, the canal side development. Our so-called housing committee, or should I say George Askill and Company, otherwise known as the Land Speculators Court. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, miss, but uh, that's hardly a question. 
Now, is there anyone else who has any questions to ask our candidate, Mr. Lampton, uh, before refreshments are served? I don't believe that's true. But the statistics prove it. I suppose the people who live by the canal are only a statistic to you. After all, there's nothing very special about them, is there? I mean, there are three million houses in England without bathrooms, aren't there? Oh, you want to watch this one. It's not that she's got a social conscience, it's just that her uncle's a plumber. What a... You know, it just so happens that I was brought up in a house without a bathroom, too. But you went to night school, put your shoulder to the wheel, and made something of yourself. A treasure. What about... You're the... adorable. What about the canal side estate? Oh, go and lead a protest march somewhere. Answer the question. I'm not in the council yet, you know. I'm sure Abe Brown won't let you down. I'm Joe Lumpton, and you remember that, you son of a bitch. I've got a name. You it. <laughs> You don't really think it's important, do you? Like what? Ballroom dancing? As long as there's four acres in your future, you're all right. You're drunk. How very, very perceptive of you. Come along, Nora. Look, if he's got to hurry off somewhere, we could continue this discussion in the pub, you know. I mean... Would your wife to... be joining us? I've got to see you. I want to talk to you. Nora? Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Harry. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Hooray! Come oh, in, Barbara. Blindfold him. Oh, no peeking. There you are, Harry. We picked it out specially for you. We thought it's just what you wanted. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Nobody ever thought of buying me a bicycle when I was ten years God old. God in heaven, you're not going to play that stale, self-pitying record again. Daddy! We can't go on not seeing Mark and Sybil. Why not? How much do they see of each other anyway? You know, the only thing that keeps those two together is they can't decide who's going to get custody of the dogs. Where are you going? Out. But what are we going to do, Joe? Invest in you, Natasha, so that we can be content and happy in our sunset years. But it's all over between Mark and me. Why? Has he given you up for a younger piece already? bicycle and says, thank you very much, sir, in that Nancy boy accent that cost me 450 quid a year. If you don't like the accent he's picked up, why don't you send him to a state school? Oh, nobody consults me. I'm nothing in the larger scheme of things there. Modesty is one thing I never suspected. 